storing bikes. Um, lots of people in London are living in shared flats um, where they have nowhere safe and secure to store a bicycle. Um, and things like bike hangers, they take up, they give a really positive message in terms of, you know, they take up a car parking space, but you can park, I mean, half a car parking space provides covered parking for six bicycles. Um, so it's a good message in terms of shifting. But is that the kind of thing? And also bicycle maintenance workshops. They're not that expensive to run, but they can really empower people in, you know, if you run them in community centres, to know how to repair their own bike. And that makes cycling more affordable and doable, particularly for people on low incomes. So are those measures things that look like they may get funding and um, support? I, I think what we've learnt in recent years is that you can only grow cycling or grow a, a mode shift if you support it not only with new infrastructure but also complementary measures that encourage that behaviour change. Um, I would say particularly cycling, overcoming the fear of cycling through cycle training is a, a really important um, measure and actually there has been significant success in really ramping up the number of people, adults and children being trained in London and I think that kind of activity needs to continue. Similarly with cycle parking, um, we are soon to meet um, the target that we had set, which was to have an, another 80,000 cycle parking spaces, but I think it was the end of this year. Um, London's done quite well with that, but I, I live um, very near the borough of Lambeth, and I'm, they've had an amazing program with those bike hangers on the streets. And I think it's ensuring that boroughs are encouraged to, to, use, to respond to the, the population's demands for those kind of um, bike parking, and they're unable to fund that whether that's through um, their existing LIP funding or um, new cycle parking funding. But being, I, I, um, in terms of overseeing sort of where we would direct investment, it can't just be in new routes, it has to be in the complementary measures that enable, overcome barriers and enable people to, to feel safe cycling, feel safe to leave their bike somewhere. So will we be seeing some of this in the transport strategy when it comes out? Uh, in terms of the, the overall policy to encourage active travel, yes. Um, Obviously, there's work ongoing with the TfL business plan, which will be published later this year, and that would provide more of the financial information that you'd be interested in.